Oh, that would have been Okay, good. what's our plan? Okay, well, since we can't get into the prop room and that's where all the facades are, with the exception of I say we put we put these in here just and we I mean, see as they, they are look. so you can see how they look. That's, that's definitely yeah. what I want to so I want to see. Definitely do some lighting today. Yes, mm -hmm. we can do yeah, lighting and then also I mean, yeah. alleys are nasty, and well, I mean, other than it's not shiny. two colors. As long as I mean, as long as like if someone's sitting here, and if uh, Cena gets some like if she wants to show feet or show any close-ups, as long as it's on this part. Brandon Park is the um, the, the two-page can script that everybody, every modes class has to do here at uh, U of I every semester, and um, it's 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 just sort of inane dialogue between these two. Um, these two characters, there is no stage direction, there's nothing but dialogue in the script. What that means is the interest is, is, is in coming up with new, you know, with, with, with stuff to fill the, the story with. You make up the story, you know, as a group, you know, and, and try to fit it to this dialogue. And so before we did that, we looked at a bunch of other versions of it on YouTube, which you can find. And, um, and we got to see, you know, there's a huge variety of things. There were, you know, it was comedy, there was a zombie one, there was a gay porn version of it, uh, which was a favorite among our group. And, um, and then just as a group, we just went through a whole bunch of different options of our own that we thought about um, of, of how to fit this dialogue into into a story, into a sequence. And, and then what we ended up um, sort of focusing on was... Uh, was two homeless people, and so that's 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 the story that we came up with. They're two very sort of intellectual, smart homeless men who are in an alley, and they're talking about what languages they know and can speak fluently. And we thought that would be an interesting story. And it's really beautiful. Guess how we get started. 
It's really, no really fact, beautiful. Read? What? Do you read? I am the director. Do you want me to elaborate? Yes, <laughs> elaborate, please. Okay. Um, basically, I'm in charge of the overall vision of the film. Um, like Cade mentioned earlier, Florina had a thing that said if the you you know if no one hates you on the set you're not doing your job. Go for it. You want a piece of cake? No. No, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious about the cake thing. <laughs> I think it's pretty good, but the disadvantage of that one is that the other one, the primary lenses like the 50 millimeter or 35, they require much less light mm -hmm. than that one. So. So uh, why did you? Why were you thinking this one? This one, because yeah. we wouldn't have to change it, and we have this wide range of zooms, and we can just walk in. Okay, I'm Zina Uber, and I was the director of photography for Brennan Park. I mean, I don't have any experience with filming. I have a lot of experience with photography, and um, I was really nervous about it, because I obviously wanted to do it perfect, and um, yeah, so I was not sure if I should like ask for the position, but then I talked to Florina and she encouraged me to do it and then I luckily got the job and yeah, so I, I spend a lot of time with the camera. I really practiced a lot. The color balance, white balance, I tried out all the lenses, so it was really important for me to, to get this relationship to the camera and to try different things. Any way that we can get them to match. Yeah. I mean, because I would, I would, because, you know, if, if this isn't the best Brandon Park ever, it's the director's fault. If the actors are bad, it's the director's fault. Okay, no, yeah, maybe, okay. <laughs> you damn pants! You destroyed me! <laughs> I have nothing because of you. Let me get the shirt too. God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you rub it in. My name? I am nameless. I am only but the production assistant. I do what they tell me to. You know, I follow orders. It's not even that. It's not even that. I am. Harmony. Mm. Harmony is my name. Harmony. You know, because if the director is not happy, I'm not happy. If the producer's not happy, I'm not happy. If the DP is not happy, I'm especially not happy. Preach it. Well, now I know how long I can beat something with a teeth bag. <laughs> <laughs> You never know, you might need that. If I get that. burglarized with my <laughs> tea in my head, quack, right across the face. Oh. The actors aren't happy with the director, I have, to, I have to harmonize that. Mostly I did that through money and food. <laughs> no one will be taking from that bag while we're Mine's shooting. A piece of no. Cheese. No way to greet the morning like a double stuff Oreo. <laughs> and Red Bull. Coffee for the maestro. Tea for the DP. Producer never returned my email, so. <laughs> Bull fucker. I was assigned to be the producer. And all that, what that means, it was. There are two things um, in the little blurb that our TA said a producer is. One, she said that if, if no one communicates, um, during this production, if, if communication breaks down and no one knows what's going on, it's the producer's fault. And she also said that if you're doing your job, everyone on set will hate you. And I don't know if that's true or not, I know, but uh, you know, I sort of thought, okay, I can do that. <laughs> and, um, and it's sort of, uh, what I do is, 
I talk a lot with the director, and um, and, and and we toss around ideas, and, and I try to make sure that um, people are, are talking to each other. So, you know, um, whoever's doing lighting has to know what the frames are going to be, you know, for the shot. So he or she has to talk to the director of photography a lot, you know, and then I have to make sure that the actors have rehearsals with with the director and. I set deadlines and things, and probably the only thing that that I did that was um, that was unique, I guess, was that I I tried to set up a lot of extra time outside of class time to do um, work on the set and things like that. Scar, where where is my chair? Yeah, it's your scar. I am Jeff Smith, and I did grip. So all the love for Brandon Park. Um, well, we knew it was a night scene, and it's gonna be you know in the city back alley. So we, w I thought it should be a lot of color, and fortunately Louisa and Zena agreed with that. So I was able to use some crazy colors, and but we still kept the traditional three point setup because that's what we're taught to do. Yeah, I think um, Zena and I work. Um, with the lighting levels from across the room screaming while everyone else was talking so but we got it worked out where she was happy with how it looked on the camera so so do you know any languages so do you know any languages yeah. <laughs> can I hear some my name is Scott Lane I was acting as Bran in our Brandon Park and I know for most of us, it was the f one of our first times shooting in the studio and having all these uh, tools and equipment in front of us that at our fingertips. So uh, overall, I think it went really well. Um, uh, the extra one on Sunday, and uh, like we worked on a little bit yesterday and last night, just to kind of iron everything out. And especially since both Ryan and I are first-time actors, pretty much. So I think it went. Yeah, I think the rehearsals were really important. Quiet on the set. Camera. Camera. Sound. Sound. Brandon Park, close up Brand, take one. And action. So, do you know any languages? What do you mean? English or something? I guess that would be a start. As a matter of fact, I know Spanish and Italian. I used to know some Hindi, but I've pretty much forgotten it. <laughs> at 5.30 in the morning, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know how I felt about it then, but now looking at it, I feel like it was, it was worth it. It kind of gave me time to realize where I was at and I put my sweatpants on backwards first, so <laughs> until I, I didn't realize it until I put my phone in my pocket, and then I stumbled out the door, and it, it all went pretty well. Um, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm Steve Ansel, and I was sound production. Mito Ortiz, boom operator. For sure. Yeah. Keeping it real. Yeah, um, we got brought into this thing, like, it was already kind of on its way when we got brought in, and they said they needed sound, and we are like, well, right here. We, we live sound our whole life, I mean, everything. We're constantly hearing stuff, so... We got a lot of experience on this shit. I use my head, literally. Quick thinking. Yep. Um, for ambient, I got a lot of uh, city type sounds. I got, I got a lot of sirens. I got a, you know, I, I wanted to get a variety, so I got the police, ambulance, and the fire, which was pretty interesting. So I just was kind of walk around Saturday, waiting for you know some person to get a little too drunk, I was just waiting, you know, the, for the cops to be called. And yeah, I got those, I got some chatter, some birds, you know, some trees, some footsteps, basic city ambience.
kind of like you feel like the city coming on you you know you feel the whole thing washing yeah. over you it's kind of what I was going for but and then we're going to go and here there's a medium yeah. so good and those are amazing shot reverse shot shot reverse shot yeah. Well, no, because then we need to get the camera out of yeah. the yeah. Yeah. Thing. Right. So, so we can keep it to... And then we should go to... Yeah, the close-up. We should go to the, the, close the up. Yeah, the medium close up Yeah. And then okay. the... Ooh, look at that extreme close-up. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, these we can do. And that's, like, and the... And then, oh, I, and wow. then I feel like, Cut actually... Away. Yeah, our cutaways we do... This one I feel like we could also do cause from... Uh -huh. You know, and then and then take it out and then physically do the the angle, the shot, reverse shot over the shoulder, over the shoulder. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be Well I was I was really surprised to see how intense some people were, which I thought was really good. Like, there's a lot of preparation. There's a lot of um, setting up, prepping the set. So that was good. Um, but, you know, you can't... I mean, some people just engage with it more than others. And I, I'm okay with that. Just I can't make people care more than they do. So that was cool, yeah. I mean, if I have... A.M. <laughs> I woke up at 5 a.m. on the shoot day. That was intense. So I knew, like, these guys were serious. You know. That's good. Yeah. Not, not really, because he was covering it. I mean, it is visible, but it's not really. It's, yeah. it's not that prominent. And now we took care of that one. So that's I have to say, working with... Lisa and Kate was perfect. Like between us, we never had any problem. No. Like we always had like the same vision. We liked the same things. It was very, very smooth, very natural. Uh, I loved it. Yeah. No, After it the was... hypnotism, everything went very well. Yes. <laughs> no, it, it was surprisingly very smooth. Uh, yeah, we never had any. Yeah. Oh. And Kate was a very good ringleader. Yeah. I mean, he definitely got everyone. I mean, and you can't force people to invest more than they're willing to yeah but Kate definitely tried and he definitely made it possible for us to that's so together. crucial that people really do their job and want to do their job and then there were people that didn't show up and first I got really really frustrated about that but then I just realized okay we don't need them we can do it by ourselves we did. and we were very invested in this because I do want to have a career in the film industry someday and so for me this is a great taste of my future personal sacrifices that I have to make. So when we had the extra rehearsals or when we're on, we show up extra early, that's just what we're going to have to do in the future. You can't just expect to, you know, make it in an industry without sacrificing something or putting forth effort and investing yourself in it. It's Not to switch gears, but uh, one thing that I was really impressed with is this morning we had a we had a 6 a.m. call for for almost for, for a good chunk of the crew, um, and which included actors and Victoria doing makeup and of course Louise and me, but we don't have lives, so we were able to come pretty easily. But the point is, is that people made it. They came at um, at 6 a.m. and uh, which made for about a four-hour shoot. A little over four hours, and uh, for a two minute for a two page script, <laughs> and um, you know there were people who were sitting around. But everything I've ever heard about a, f a film set means that people are sitting around. That's well, why we have food. Right. Yeah. That's why we have food. You know because you know they're setting up the shots, and there was as much planning as we had. We had some improvisation going on. You know, like with the with the outro. You know, the the sort of tracking out shot and everything, and everything turned out well. Everyone. Was, everyone works pretty well together. It was, a, it was a good shoot, you know? 
For the most part, yeah, it was a good shoot. I like to sit back and view the, the people doing their things. And then you turn to Italian. But it's all, it's all about that concept of harmony. Because <laughs> if a film, it's not harmonized, it's, it's fucked. <laughs> totally. Fucking the ass. So without me, you're fucking the ass. <laughs> really. If you think about it, the PA, the production assistant, is everybody's bitch. That's what they all say. I'm I'm their bitch. First day I, I approach I approach the maestro. With all dignity and grace. Let her honor be. Whatever. I approached the maestro. She didn't take me seriously. She's like, yeah, give me a coffee. Guy, I want a coffee tomorrow. Showed up with a coffee. She was a little surprised. I do my job. That's what I do. My job is harmony. And that is my name. Harmony. I'm not going to lie. I love it. And cut.